don't know the power of a reaction. Sites, get on over to Screen Junkies and subscribe because they are the shit in it. Now, let's check out The Mandalorian Season 2. Honest Trailer. Fresh from Disney's content mines in Outer Burbankia, comes Season 2 of a show that's either the greatest thing we've ever seen or live action Star Wars has lowered our expectations so much, basic confidence feels like seeing the face of God. It's glorious. The Mandalorian <laughs> Season 2. Suit up for more Mandalorian, the show that combined the world of Star Wars, the feel of old samurai films, and the emotional core of Reddit's r slash awe community. <laughs> Aww. In a winning mix that keeps things simple and doesn't overstay its welcome. So you can be sure as Sith they'll launch enough spinoffs to kill the magic for good next year. <laughs> you know there's a reason we don't eat birthday cake every day, Disney. Keep eating is the same thing and we will reject it. Unless it's Marvel. Or animated musicals. Or Pixar movies about giving up on your dreams. Okay, fine, you win. Stuff my mouth full of cake, Bounce Daddy. <laughs> Rejoin the Mandalorian, the galaxy's most dangerous never nude. But this time, he'll break his only rule about giving face as he quests to deliver this tiny meme generator over to a Jedi, all while bonding ever deeper with Baby Yoda over their shared love of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we know his name isn't technically Baby Yoda anymore. Grogu? Uh, but let's stick with Baby Yoda. Grogu. Uh, Baby Yoda. Grogu. Uh, Baby Yoda. Grogu. He's the secret love child of Yoda and Yaddle, okay? Clap them cheeks, Yoda, dude. Canon, that is. Are you ready to watch some space cops make some deals with yeah, each other? They know the real when Mando makes a deal with this marshal. Help me kill it, I'll give you the armor. Deal. And strikes a deal with the Tusken Raiders for help. We have struck a deal. But when a deal goes wrong on the way to finding a Jedi... Lady, the deal is off. This is not part of the deal. He'll try to forge a deal with some fellow Mandalorians. They're changing the terms of the deal. And cut a quick deal with Ming-Na. I owe you from last time. We have a deal. Before he wraps up that deal with her and Boba Fett... Then our deal is complete. That's in addition to any bargains, promises, or propositions he'll make along the way. We can strike a bargain. You make me a promise. And I held up my end. I have a proposition that may interest you. <laughs> then what's in it for me? Screw credits. The real currency of Star Wars is the pinkies wear. Everybody's making deals. Remember <laughs> all the interesting and original side characters you met last season. They're back. At least for now. But they'll make room yeah. for all new faces. And by new, I mean really old. Like the most popular characters from the Clone War series, the most popular character from Empire Strikes Back, and the most popular character from Star Wars. Period. <laughs> it's official. No one in Star Wars gets to die or retire anymore. This season's most meaningful death was when they killed off a merchandising opportunity. <laughs> no! <I'm collectible! laughs> so enjoy this action-packed journey alongside a hardened killer with a heart of gold. And a soft baby with a heart of darkness. As Favreau and Filoni deliver the second best Star Wars experience ever made for television. But you all know what's still number one. <laughs> no, not Clone Wars. No, not Rebels. I'm talking about the intro to the droids cartoon. Come on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched this. Oh, man, that's such a like, ever, ever. <laughs> Starring Daft Hog. My buddy, my buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. Go. Ranger of the New <laughs> Republicans. Dawson's Geek. Princess Leia. The New Agents Republicans. Of Shen, I got that. Wolf <laughs> Moth Diver. Darkness. No parents. Red Sox leader standing by. Goo. Oh, man, it's good. Just eating anything. <laughs> Stormtroopers giving themselves away. Look, 
talking loud as hell all the time. Security to main car. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Unreasonably convenient, mass and blueprints. That's uh, this is a map of Tatooine. I think that's Bruce Lee's. Most Eisley, most Esbob, that's someone related to Bruce region, Lee, I think. Most Pelville. We're in here. This entire area is the green zone, completely safe. But over on this side is the ball game. This is what you're talking about, Rod? Yeah, it's the uh, refinery right there. They're held in cold storage in this cargo bay. It's not the scale. I think it is. Can't be. That's too big. If your 98 Civic hatchback was a spaceship. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I wonder who fought it at you. That's the damn truth, man. <laughs> and my deep fake killed other droids in the guard. Yeah. <laughs> The Masked Slinger. <laughs> I think they definitely could have did a better job of Luke's face. Says here you're from Alderaan. Did you lose anyone? Everybody. Uh, yeah, Chief. I'm gonna guess you did. <laughs> hey, it's that guy from the Apex Legends trailer. The Lumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait till the next season. I hope everybody comes back and... Um, even though it wasn't perfect, it it's it's the best damn thing to me on Disney Plus. You know what I'm saying? That I've seen so far. Like new thing. Like it's the best thing. Like it's one of my favorite series of all time. Period point blank at this point. It really is. I love how much they put into it, from the special effects, um, to the story, to the to the, the fan service. To me, it's not too much fan service, you know? Like, watching Dragon Ball Super was like, okay. It was so much fan service, it was ridiculous. But this, I don't think it was too much. I really don't. I, I think it was just right. You know, so... I can't wait to see it. And I enjoyed this, as usual. So, if you enjoyed my reaction, of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers, whoa.